So here we started the network analyzer and then it asked us to connect to the VNA. Do not connect to VNA simulator, right? Connect to the VNA that we have. And just press run. So it take a while to open the window. And then the things, the first thing we want to do is on the right, go to the cal. And then we want to import the factories, uh, the calibration kits that we got from the uh, vendor for the substrate calibration. Go to cal kit, cal set and cal kit, and then choose cal kit. And this window will pop up and we go to the end, right? So we already have, I have already imported this before. If we have not yet, then we need to just press import and choose the file. For example, right after I open the file, I go to the directory, make sure that you choose uh, PMA CalKit CKT. And then I see this CS5100, uh, which we got from the vendor for the substrate calibration. So I'm not going to import again. It is already here, right? So it is imported already. I just press OK. And you don't do have to do this every time. So now we will start the calibration. So how do we do the calibration? So you go to the top left, right? You see this uh, response, cal, and then we use smart cal, OK? Once you open the smart cal, what you want to do is say, to check this perform guider cal, and I go to next. After that, make sure that we check the connector that we want. It should be the probe because we're using a probe tip, right? So it has no gender for this one, right? And then we do not, by default, it's asking for TRL. We want to use SOLT, so we say modify cal type, and I go to next. Now, after that, you see that uh, it has this one. What we want to do is to change the cal type to SOLT, right? So we, our calibration file has this. So you just choose SOLT and just say, okay, we will keep this D5 rule. Okay, with this, then we are, we are ready. Then we go to next. Then it asks us to uh, make port one open. Okay, so we are going to put the structure 51. So if we look at the menu, uh, 51, this is the 51, 52. So we can pick one of them. We're going to pick 51. And from here, you see that this is the VNA and you check carefully. This is port one, as it is said here. This port one, it, port one is connected to the left probe, right? So we are going to put the left probe uh, on 51, right? And while with this uh, port two floating. So I gradually move the port to here, right? This is port one, and then I can zoom in. Now the probe is touching the test pattern or calibration pattern. So this is what we have now. I also moved another probe closer. Then now, like it said, I connect to the pad 51 for port one, then I'm done. I say measure. Right. Then we'll start doing the calibration and let's just wait. And now it say move port one to short, which is 61 to 66. 61 to 66 is those below it. So I'm going to move it down. You also see that there's some scratch that was uh, made because of the, uh, when we touch it, I'm not sure whether this is too much actually. And it is easier to see the scratch when I change it to the uh, another filter, light filter. Now I move it down, it's touching the short pattern. And now we will just say measure. 
Okay, when it is done, we want to put it in the 50 ohm low pattern 70. Since it's 70 to 76, so I will just use 71 because it's close to it. Now it land on the low pattern and I will do the measurement. Okay, then you now you ask us to move to port two and repeat the same thing, open, short, and low. Again, we're talking about port two. So this is port two, right? And this cable is connected to the left probe, right? So now we just put it on the uh, open pattern, which is 51. So now I will measure again. Okay, and then now we need to go to the short one, which is 61. Now I move it to the short and then measure again. To finish, then we need to go to low. I will go to 71. Now it is at 71, the low. So we will measure, click on measure. Okay, so it finished. Now we need to do the two ports, right? Connect to 80, to a 200 micron long uh, full port, 80. So do 80. And 80 is just the one below it. Say, and actually it say 81 to 86. So I would just pick, put, uh, pick 81, which is right below it. This is the full. I have moved all of them down. We can take a zoom out picture, which is like this. Okay, now it is finished, right? After we click the measurement and then we will save it and use it in the future.